Team Sandys. Starting weight, 1,996 pounds. Total weight lost, 127 pounds. The person who has lost the least amount of percentage body weight is Nouvelle de Rosa. The person who has lost the most is Esther Bascom. Uh, Sand 360 is hard to tell. I haven't heard from most of the contestants. I have heard from Lisa, Nicole and Matt Neal. Um, Lisa um, was having a tendency to skip meals and in earlier weeks she wasn't consuming enough calories. Um, she has made good progress but she needs to avoid the tempting snacks. I have to say two things. Uh, the first thing is congratulations on what looks like as a team having the greatest average body weight loss. Contrasting to that, I hear that there's a whole lot of team issues. I've heard it from, we've heard it from the regiment having comments, we've heard it from your trainers having comments. So my question is, what's going on? And I uh, want to start with uh, maybe Terry at the back. Uh, it's a little interesting that I should be the one to be asked. However, I just think that um, one is that, like Andrew said, that there's a lot of strong personalities in our group. And we're all of age. We're probably the more mature contestants. And I think some of us are, or all of us, we as a team, are having issues in terms of um, just relating to each other as adults and just taking instruction from others and realizing that the instruction that we're trying to give is constructive and positive. Um, Anybody else want to say something about this topic before we move on? Esther, you want to say something? Esther, please. They are past issues and they have been resolved. When you walked in here, I felt like it was like a funeral march. It was like a dirge. Like, I hope that you play that dum, dum, da dum, dum, da dum, dum. I mean, it was really, you, ha you really, really look pathetic and sad. And it's, it's palpable. And I'm, I'm just wondering, what, what is that? This is a, this is, this, sh you should be feeling better. You, you guys, almost all of you have lost more weight than the highest weight loss people of the other team. So why are you so miserable? I was going to say, nobody wants to go. We realized that, you know, we, we started out with eight members where other teams had seven, and two people have to go. Nobody wants to go. I, I, I've been told that I don't tell people enough about my humble beginnings. I, I actually grew up on a farm and uh, with horses. And we have something that's called mare biting. It's like if you have two mares running side by side, if one tries to get ahead of the other, they'll snip at the other one. Who's trying to be, who's the, who's trying to be the alpha mare in this group? Um, I, would, I would say myself and Terry are probably two really? of the... Yeah. You seem so demure and quiet. I, I don't take stress very well. So when I get stressed, I may bark at somebody, but then I walk away. I can't see that. Wow. So, so it caused tension and you're, you're through it. I'm through it. I'm done right. with it. Right. Who won? Who's the alpha mayor? Terry. So, we're going to ask you to stand forward, please. Um, Ms. Uh, DeRosa, stand forward, please. In fact, um, Ms. Honoré, step forward, please. And Ms. Hollis, step forward, please. Everyone else, step back. I'm afraid to say, Ms. DeRosa, you've been eliminated. Please exit the arena. <laughs> Could we briefly hear from you why you think you should stay more so than the other person? Since day one, I've put in tons of hours. I've worked with my trainer. I've been up since 5.30 in the morning. I go, I go for one at 5.30. I go to the gym at 8. I leave. I go to work. I come back to the gym at one or two and then I go back to the gym at six o'clock. I really want this, you know. Right now I'm retaining water, you know. My cycle hasn't been one as a result of the exercise. It's kind of 
pushed it back. So right now I'm retaining water where I believe once my cycle comes on, the weight will drop off. Again, Mr. Wolf is right, we're mandated in a certain way to make some decisions. And there are mm -hmm. other people who are pushing themselves hard too. So once again, you guys should be congratulated, but you're competing with a lot of other people as well. And for that one particular reason, I'm sad to say that, uh, please sir, you've been eliminated. <laughs> Losing weight can be done in many forms. Why? I want to know why exactly I was eliminated. I think I had the lowest weight loss. Um, I had the better inches, but I had the lowest weight loss. As far as I know, there were three of us in the bottom percentile. From what the judges have diagnosed, um, they just done it on weight loss, which makes no sense to me. I guess off of your weight loss, how do you know, or how does they know people's not taking fat burners? I don't know what to feel at this point. But in reference to fat burners, I, I, I don't know of any of my team members um, using fat burners. We, we, we work out. Well, I look like I'm using fat burners, and that's a good thing, because I'm working very hard. I'm, I'm putting a lot of time into the gym. When I see other people dropping, and I see what they eat, because this is not the first place we've been out together, and I watch them eat. And I say to myself, well, how are they eating that, but yet they're losing this? Are you on fat burners there, mate? Nope. Just got the most fat to burn. I would say thank you for having me on your team. Um, I'm sorry I had to go, and I wish you all the best. I will still be coming to the gym and working out with you and doing the best to lose the weight, and I wish you all the best. Guys, when it comes to this particular elimination, I've got to just put my two cents in and say that I happen to agree with the judges when it comes to Lisa. I was right there with the Sands 360 crew when they were down at the regimen and doing their different activities. And Lisa was just so verbally abusive and just difficult, especially when it came to Terry, who happened to be their team captain. Even when they were down at the tunnels, and they were trying to go through. You could see she was scared, you know, you could see she was frightened. And Terry offered for her to hold onto his ankles so they could go through together. But instead, she was like, no, I'll lose the points. Both of those guys, Arthur and Terry, said to her, honey, it's not you who is losing the points. It's our entire team. But that didn't matter. She was just like, Psh, whatever. Esther, for goodness sake, went to the tunnel. And Lisa couldn't. I mean, if that doesn't show that you're hungry, if that doesn't say that you want it, what does? Well, I disagree with Lisa being eliminated tonight. You know, I, she had a lot of weight to lose, and I believe she was on a mission to lose the weight. Last, last week at the boot camp, she was so excited, and she was just she was so into it, and she was just getting into her own thing. So for tonight, for her to be eliminated, I'm shocked. You know, I thought her and her daughter, Alnisha, were going to go a long way in this competition. So, Rosanna... Did you feel that Nouvelle should have been eliminated? I don't agree with the decision because Nouvelle was working hard even with the bad food. Andrew, Esther, what do you have to say about her? I can relate to Esther because the obstacles that she faces in the challenge are quite similar to the ones that I faced in business. I mean, she says that she needs to work three times harder than her teammates because they are stronger, younger, and faster. So I feel that if Esther can do it, then Lisa can do it as well. You know, this has been a really wonderful show, and I can't wait to see what comes up next. Well, that's it for the Bermuda 100-Day Challenge. You can join us on Facebook or YouTube. <sighs>